Hey everyone! So today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on my foundation routine. Um, like, I've, like I've mentioned before, I never used to use foundation. I only started um, like when I started doing YouTube videos. So I'm no expert in this area. So I'm just gonna show you what I normally do. Well, I've got several ways of doing foundation, but this is my latest foundation routine. I will be using the Bobbi Brown cream compact foundation today so this is how it looks like and I will be using it in conjunction with my Manicare um, sponge beauty sponge this is a exact dupe for the Sonia Kashuk sponge which is a dupe for the beauty blender which I haven't tried but so far um, because I could only find this in Singapore and this has been working really well for me so I've already moisturized my face First step, I'm going to put on my primer. I'm using the Laneige Moisture Up Primer. I've tried several different types of primer, but um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what to do for my face, except that, you know, um, it kind of like creates a base for my makeup to go on. So just put the primer all over the face. Okay. Take this sponge, I've already wet the sponge, um, so just wet it, squeeze it dry so it's not dripping wet and just going to take a little bit of the Bobbi Brown cream foundation here and I would typically take about this much for half a face and I'll just dab a little bit on the tip as well. So what do you do, just stipple all over my face? Right, even around the eyes and I'll take the sharp corner and you just slightly twirl roll the sponge around the face yeah to blend the foundation in I typically just take a little bit more for the forehead and then just continue to buff. This sponge is great to give you a really nice airbrush flawless finish because it glides on so well so you don't get streaks which you typically get from foundation brushes and um, yeah I think it's amazing. Okay, so once I'm done with the foundation, as you can see, I've still got some imperfections. I've got my dark eye circles to conceal. I've got a broken capillary here. So yeah, let's get on to concealing those. But before I do that, I would typically like to highlight um, the high points of the face. Um, I do this using the Skin Food Lime Secret Shine Base. Just dab it on all the areas that I like to highlight. Um, I would typically put a highlighter above this afterwards but I tend to think that it gives a more natural you know illuminous glow if I use this before my powder. It's like as if it's part of the foundation I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Camouflage Concealer today, which is this one on the right. So, um, just gonna use my fingers, take a little bit, dab it around the bottom of the eyes, just trying to stay in frame. Okay, just a little bit, and before I'm done, I'll get my YSL Touche Eclair Okay, just to highlight around the eye area and blend them both together Do the same for the other eye
alright and then just use dabbing motions next um like I said, I've got some spots here. I've got a broken capillary. I don't know how I got this. I, I've had this for years. I've got a few freckles here. So um, I'm just using the Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage Palette. Um, just mixing a couple of the colors together and just lightly dab on the spots I want to conceal. Yeah, I know like a lot of um, people like using the Touche Eclat on the lines around here but because I, like I said I've got normal to dry skin I know on camera it actually looks, my face looks quite shiny but trust me I do have normal to dry skin so it doesn't really work for me um, if I use any concealer here it will accentuate the lines and I'll, I'll look terrible so next I'm just going to um, set the concealer under the eyes. I'm just gonna be using some silica powder. This is, I got this from TKB Trading. Um, it's exactly the same as the Makeup Forever HD um, powder. So because it's just it just consists of silica, and this is like a fraction of the price. So it's way way better. So just take the Sigma E40 brush, take a little bit of powder, and just dab it under the eyes. Just gonna set the powder on my face, uh, the foundation on my face lightly with the MAC Skin Finish Natural, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm using an Inika brush. This is like a really, really dense kabuki brush, which um, I bought it online, so it's really, really good. So just take a little bit of the powder and I like to first dab some of the powder around. Okay, just take a little bit of the powder, just dab it around and lightly work it in. I like to keep my makeup looking slightly dewy so. I don't typically put too much powder on, so yep, and that's it. Alright, so we're done. So that's my foundation routine, and right after this, I'll just go on to do the rest of my makeup. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll list all the products that I've used in the in the bottom bar, and I'll see you in a later video. Bye!